Hello everyone and welcome to my new recording studio. I don't know where to start, there is a lot I, I want to tell you guys. Today's video it's all about uh, gun spotlight. So I had a lot of messages, people asking should I get gun? Uh, how is gun? Is it good? So I did play a little bit with him, I did bought it as the first hero from the void. Um, I test him out a little bit and I would say it's not one of the top priority heroes as I was expecting him to be but he still has some very good and nice abilities especially one of them which I will show you to you in a couple of moments now before anything uh, I know the video quality is quite bad I'm still working to get a better program so I can stream so I can my roll from my phone to PC but right now it has to do it so please let me know in the comment if the quality is really really bad I will record further on uh, on my phone straight on my phone like I, I've done it before and uh, until now right thank you again like on every other video thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and uh, if anything please drop a comment uh, below I would love to help you right now let's start with our gun spotlight there he is gun elder druid probably class sage he's not very well equipped but this is one tip I can give you on every hero and every new hero you are getting. Uh, the first priority on every hero and every new hero that you get would be to try to get his stamina around 15. That's 1-5. The reason, the reason is the max stamina. You can see that it's over maxed because I, I leveled him up. But on, on the right it's 7. So it's usual max stamina would be 7. If you put another point in stamina, that would go up to 8. So that you don't need to worry about entering the game so frequently and keep spending your stamina. Because it can go up to 8. Some of my heroes can go up to 9. So even when you CH or when you want to PvP or whatever, you'll have plenty of, of stamina to play around. This is my first advice try to get stamina up to 15 now about his abilities I will show you show you every every ability what it does the trend mastery is um, an aura it only boosts the trends so basically he summon a trend so I feel I feel and I honestly say that this trend master is completely completely useless. I for now. Maybe when if you ever get into level 40 50 max abilities and you can play around with a max summon trend maybe it might be a little bit different. Starting with the first one, twisting thorns. Uh, personally, I think this is his best ability. This is his best ability that he has. This thorns, twisting thorns. I like it a lot. It's mostly the only ability that I'm using. W what it does is, I will show it to you. It's same as Avril's Ice Wall. It's a castable spell. You cast it in a line, you do a circle, you whatever you want, and then it's just gonna trap units inside. I'm sorry. So it is it is very good, it's very useful useful, it can even stop cavalry's charge. So think about that. Then is summon trend. As you can see I already have three I put three abilities in it. I wanted to play around with it. It has seventeen thousand HP and does hundred and seventy damage. I used I summoned this trend on a CH and um before he managed to do his first punch, the archer selected him and he died. Sad story. 
Rip Trend. Then the second ability, which I would say is the second one useful from him, it's Earthquake. Gen causes an Earthquake to shake the target area on the battlefields. We'll take damage. Building units take a large amount of additional damage. This one is very good for sieging. The way it is now and uh, with the current magic that Gun has, which is 16, this ability did approximately 600, from my testing, 600 to 1000 wall damage. Now, that might not sound that much, but I believe that with um, a few more levels and a lot more of magic, he could do some pretty significant damage as himself. Life Force. This is a very useful aura for players who like to fight with a lot of summons. This, this is very great for players who like to play with summons and use a lot of summons. Archers are considered summons from Avalon. Uh, Swordsmen from Vision, they are considered summons. This is this is good for that. And then, uh, Nature's Blessing. I believe that this is not meant for humans. This is my opinion. Not for human race. Because check what it does. As a noble and sagacious elder, Gan imparts a powerful blessing to magical creature. When he is on the battlefield, all allied magical creatures have their maximum health increase if i am correct and i'm pretty sure i'm correct scorpions and spiders they are considered magical creatures now imagine that or any other magical creature this guy will gonna boost their health i think this gun might be a game changer for for leech to be honest Having uh, scorpions, because first one is 5%, 12%, and having scorpions with, let's say, 25-30%, if you max it out, or close to, with that high amount of, of health, I would say it will be a game change for the, um, for the leech. That, if they are magical creature, but I'm pretty sure they are. For me, as human, I find very useful Twisting Thorns and Earthquake. But that's about it. Not a, I would say, not a pr for humans, not a priority hero. It's just good to have him. Now, let's have some action. See what this guy can do. And of course, best way to try him out: some dungeons. I don't really care as much what is going to happen here. I just want to play it. Now check something very important. Check the range of it. Right, so th the range of it is, is insane, it's literally insane. And bam, so every unit that get through, bam, root, 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 stay there. Let's put the trend in. But look at him, bam, 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 boof. rest in peace, trend. Earthquake, earthquake is 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 made for it's made for buildings. At least you had a chance, you, you saw his ability, so now you can decide for yourself if, if you are going to... Everything 
to take him or not. Now you probably saw the experience difference and I'm gonna show you why. This is a very new item which my next video is gonna be about alchemy. Once I'm done with this one I'm gonna start with that one and explain a little bit the alchemy and what I believe. Check this item. Hero bonus, battle experience plus 20%. That is insane. I literally say that is insane. Because basically you can remove and equip this stuff whenever you want. You don't have to make this a permanent item to this hero. You can only use him when you until you clear, clear your dungeons. After that you can simply just equip another better stuff that you have in your inventory. I'm not sure if there is a scroll or there is, there is a recipe for it uh, to craft it. I probably, if I'm correct, I got it while I was um, transmuting my green items. So probably I was lucky, but th this is something you, you, you want to keep for sure. So this is my opinion. This is how gun looks like. If you enjoy it, you can buy it. You can take it. I would say it's worth it. This is my opinion about him. Not a priority, but a good hero. A good crowd control hero. So, until next time. All I can say is best wishes to you guys. This is Legend Rooney. If you see it right, I'm not sure how it says play hard. So remember, play hard. Alright, take care.